let me ask you if you die today why should God let you into heaven most people tell me God should let me into heaven because I'm a good person <laughs> however the Bible says we cannot get into heaven based on our own goodness we need Jesus Christ for our salvation but if you believe that you can somehow qualify for heaven based upon your conduct or your performance then you are a member of the largest false religion in the world and it is all based upon the merit system do you think that God has some kind of a balanced scale do you think that God will stack your good deeds on one side and your bad deeds on the other side do you think if your good deeds outweigh your bad deeds the scale will tilt in your favor and you will earn heaven that is a lie from the devil now I'm going to ask you to think logically and use your intellect if God uses a balance scale then you only have to be a little bit more good than bad to tilt the scale in your favor now don't you think God's standards are higher than that you could not even pass your final exam in high school with only 51 percent right you will have to do much better than that to pass God's final exam I have asked many people the following question and I have yet to receive an answer if you believe that you will go to heaven if you are just good enough then how good is good enough how good do you think you will have to be to qualify for heaven is 90% good enough how about 99% good listen carefully even if you are 99% good you will still fail God's test because God requires 100% no one is 100% good or perfect and that is exactly why we all need Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of our sins so the fact is you have to be perfect to get into heaven that's because no sin is allowed in heaven that means if you have sinned just one time then you are disqualified if you have sinned even once then you are ineligible the Bible says if you have sinned even once then you are just as guilty as someone who has sinned many times so my question for you is what will you do with your sins you cannot get into heaven as long as those sins are on you you cannot take even one sin into heaven with you but maybe you think you are perfect and you have not sinned the Bible says if you say you have no sin you deceive yourself and the truth is not in you the Bible says all have sinned that is why I am urging you turn to Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins every day I meet people who insist that they are a good person if you insist that you are a good person then think about this Jesus said no one is good that's right Jesus Christ said no one is good only God is good so if you insist that you are a good person then you, you really need to know what God thinks of your goodness the Bible says the very best person is like filthy rags in front of God 
Think about that. That means even if you were the very best person in the whole world, and you're probably not, but if you were the best person in the whole world, God still sees you as a filthy rag. That is what God thinks of our goodness. That is why we all need the Savior, Jesus Christ. Now, if you still will not admit that you have sinned, you put me in an awkward situation. I am forced to point out your sins. I don't like doing that, but it is necessary because you will never understand why you need the Savior, Jesus Christ, until you first understand your sin and guilt. The Bible says that God gave you a conscience and your conscience should convict you. Have you ever had a guilty conscience? Psychiatrists say that if you have never had a guilty conscience, then you are a sociopath. All normal people have had a guilty conscience. Our own conscience says we are guilty and we need forgiveness. The forgiveness that we need can only come through Jesus Christ. I believe that today many people are ignoring their conscience. Maybe that is why God decided to put it in writing. That's right. God spelled it out for you in the Bible. If you want to know what God says is right and wrong, you need to look into the Bible. But be careful. If you look into the Bible, it's like looking into a mirror. You will see yourself as God really sees you. Then you will understand your sin and your need for the Savior, Jesus Christ. Are you really a good person? Let's see. I will give you a preview of the judgment to come. The Bible says, Love God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. That means that God is your top priority all the time. If you have not loved God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, then you are guilty. And you need to turn to Jesus for the forgiveness of your sins.